Hey, Bailey. Arnie, Liz, how are you going? I'm doing great. How are you? I hear you had a gout flare last week. Shh, keep it down. I don't need the whole world knowing. Hey, you don't need to be embarrassed. There's over a million people in Australia who have gout, just like you and me. Really? So you mean a million other people sometimes feel like they're walking on glass? Or sometimes spend the day feeling like they got their finger caught in a car door. Yes. I've got gout too, you know. It's not your fault or mine. It runs in the family. Huh? My dad, uh, your granddad, he had gout too. So there was always a chance one of us might get it. It's when your body builds up too much uric acid, which it can't get rid of. Jeez, I thought you were my auntie Liz. Didn't realize you were my doctor as well. I'm serious. When your body creates too much uric acid, it forms crystals in your joints that feel like shards of glass. That's what causes the gout flare and the awful pain. Hmm, runs in the family. Too much uric acid. Interesting. Hold on, auntie. Let me get something to eat. I'm starving. Go on then. Young man like you needs feeding. Here we go. I haven't eaten since I went to the gym earlier. What you got, doll? Not too much. Oh, no, you know I said gout was in the family. Oh, she's back again with the gout already. Seriously, listen. Certain foods and drinks are high in purines and can cause you to create more uric acid, which can then trigger a gout flare. That's okay. <laughs> I didn't see any prunes on the barbie. Purines, not prunes. You can't see them. They're in the food. A bit like protein. You know, it's in there, you just can't see it. Ah, oh, anyway, what kinds of food and drink? Just some, like red meat, and seafood, and alcohol. Oh man, so just salad and a glass of water then? It's okay, just be careful, Bailey. Don't go over the top. And if something does cause a flare, just make a note. For next time? No, to make sure there's not a next time. But try the chicken, it's really nice. Marinated it myself. Anyway, all this talk about gout, it was probably just a one-off. I figure I don't need the medicine anymore, so I'll stop taking it. Whoa, big mistake. How's that? I stopped taking my gout medicines when I was younger. I started getting more gout flares. Now I've got permanent damage. Hmm, maybe I should think about taking my medicines again. You really should, Bailey. Gout doesn't go away after a flare. Seriously, talk to your doctor. Medicines will help control your gout and avoid other problems, like joint damage. Ouch, does it hurt? Uh, only to look at. Hey Bailey, wanna join in the cricket? Oh hey, yeah, right with you. Hey, well, thanks for the advice, auntie. I'll say bye before I go.